Hello again, Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Mixed Media Frenzy. Here is May 7th's um, scrap lift that we're going to do. And I'm also combining it with the May I Scrap Lift You Challenge that is put together by Crystal Barrett over at Pineapple Papers. And this is the lady that we are scrap lifting today and that was her lovely layout. So I'm going to use... Um, the Simple Stories Bro & Co. collection um, because I needed to get a layout done out of this collection. Have not used it yet. So this is everything that I have from the collection. And it's more of like a teenage boy thing. So I'm going to have to like get my kid playing video games or something. But I had these very funny pictures of my fiance <laughs> sitting on the couch with... Um, well, both dogs, but the old man doesn't like to hang out and be aggravated. So he was hanging with B, and to be honest with you guys, he kind of did his hair in a funky little design, and he was sitting there making faces at me, so I snapped a few pictures. Um, I'm going to pull in cardstock again, the 8.5 by 11, that I'm trying to work my way through. I start out with one picture, and then I'm going to go ahead and do a second picture. I am combining the two scrap lifts today because... They each had kind of the same design principle. Only one was done with paper from the May I Scrap Lifty, which is right there. And the um, Mixed Media Frenzy one was kind of uh, done, had that done with the mixed media portion. So I thought, why not? Let's do it. So I'm going to take this beautiful jean paper and just a pencil and make my diagonals because I want to make sure that I get it looking pretty much like the sketches. So I'm going to pull out my messy mat. I do take my white gesso, fingers crossed. You guys know I have a horrible time with this. And I have out my Tim Holtz mini travel mixed media mat, which is the reason that I've been thinking about getting the big one because I like the travel one so much. This is, I actually won this um, over on, off of J, JQ Crafties website she had a little giveaway uh, what I did there with my palette knife was try to make a little hole and that didn't work but I didn't want it to like run all over the place and I'm going to dye the gesso I'm going to tint it the um, cheddar color from the Dina Winkley um, gloss sprays and I'm going to fill in my little paper lines with this fun little mixture and then I'm trying to make sure I clean everything up because I don't really want it on the back of the layout. Um, I am doing several mixed media layouts at the same time as always. So, uh, you know, you got to keep them, you got to keep everything clean on the back because I set it to the side and I don't want mixed media everywhere. But yeah, I, <laughs> the look I'm going for finally with the white gesso is what I ended up with. I'm not, I want the harsh lines. So I am just trying to use up all that that's sitting over there and kind of make my design. Um, I did kind of pull it in a little tighter on one side, uh, like the mixed media sketch. And here's the other picture because I realized that that little picture is just too small to take up a lot of real estate on my layout. So I just grabbed the other one. And we're going to trim that down on the same cardstock that is some kind of, you know, mustardy orange color but it matches the color in the collection so this is pretty much what I'm going to do I do want to come in I was going to use my uh, Nuvo embellishment mousse but first I decide I want to add some squishy splatters on top of the white gesso so I just get that down on the packaging spray some water and I'm just going to squish that all down if you guys have been watching my mixed media Beginner's Guide for Mixed Media classes. Um, you will have seen this technique a lot. And I am running out of cheddar. Believe it or not, that's funny. Out of all the colors that I have of the gloss spray, I have used this color the most, which just like kind of amazes me in some way because I really didn't think that I would. You know what I'm saying? Because to me, it's not that pretty of a color. And I like the bright, vibrant, pretty colors. But it is bright, bi vibrant. Words are hard. So now I'm going to take my Nouveau Texture Paste, and that is Cosmic Brown. And for this stuff, you guys, I use, um, I find it easier to run it through a palette if I have my metal palette knife. Um, 
and I am just getting it nicely mixed up and a big chunk on there and I'm going to spread this around in a few areas. I try not to work too much in the same area for too long. Um, I find if I do that, I get a lot of seepage. So I'm trying to avoid that and just put a couple places here and there just to bring a little bit more mixed media element to the background. And I really do like the way that it turns out in the end. It's very pretty, very dimensional, and that cosmic brown is like a metallic, shimmery, shiny, just fabulous. So that is all dry. I'm going to get my pictures stuck together right about in that area. Now I will use my ATG and my liquid adhesive because of the gesso, the gloss spray, and the texture Nouveau Mousse. So we get that one down. I am going to do the same thing, but I'm going to overlap that on the photo. Um, that big photo there is them both just kind of like looking at me with like, you know, not moving their head, but kind of half rolling their eyes at me. Yeah, they're great. So now I'm going to go through all of the items that I have with the kit and see what I think will work. Cutting off the edge. And I'm going to look for my title. It's going to end up being Sup Dude. I really just, that's what I thought would work best. Because it's like they're looking like, Sup Dude. Like a little, little nod of the head. Yeah. So this layout comes together very quickly after all of my mixed media dries. Um, I did pull out some of the ephemera and now I'm coming in with some of the stickers and this one right here says buddies and then I've got the how you doing which is kind of like this one's kind of a play on the friends um, sitcom series I have the you rock killing it something about a goat not real sure like I guess that's a saying that kids use these days not a clue I am going to try to, now each of the pieces that I am sticking down, whether they have stick or not, I am adding some liquid adhesive because nothing ever sticks to gesso outside of my liquid adhesive. And I just use the art glitter glue in the fine liner bottle. So I'm trying to find a place to put all these fun things. I'm going to go ahead and line the goat saying up over here I had a I thought I would like tuck it under but yeah it's not gonna tuck because it just looks really weird right there and there's a lot of like trapped open odd space so I end up sticking it over on the U rock and we're gonna make it we're gonna rock it there and I'm just gonna put it right in there with the sup dude I do want the how you doing so we're gonna put that in there as well and my video is almost done you guys um, I have been liking putting the words going vertical uh, and then I'm going to come in with some of the puffy stars that are on that thicker sheet as well. And that is pretty much going to do it. So if you guys like my layout, please give me a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button down below in the description box. I will have all my Friday gal pals that play along every week on the Mixed Media Frenzy. frenzy. And I will also have all the fun ladies that I'm playing along with over on the May I Scrap Lift You by Crystal Barrett at Pineapple Papers. So don't forget to hop along and see what everyone else created today. And there are the two layouts. So I'm trying to show you what's going on. And I think we've done it. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Bye.